Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to resize images before you import them into Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The ability to use your own graphics inside of Doodly is a huge advantage that can make your whiteboard videos stand out from the crowd. However, these images must be sized 1920 by 1080 or less. Thus, you might have to resize your images before you import them into Doodly. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. As you can see here, doing a quick Google search, there's all kinds of different options that you can use, including resizeimage.net, simpleimageresizer.com, and adobe.com, which is the one we're going to use today. So Adobe has the free image resizer, and all you need to do is upload your photo, resize it, and then download it back again. Now I have a image over here on my desktop, and I had just downloaded it, and it is currently 3500.08 by 2480, which is going to be way too big for Doodly. If I attempted to upload it, you'll get this error message that is way too big, okay? So, back we go. We're gonna upload our photo. And I'm gonna pick the landscape size. And you'll see 1080 by 566, and that's just perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And now that we're in our downloads folder, you'll see that it's 1080 by 566. And that's just perfect for Doodly. You can also use native apps that are inside your operating system to resize your images. For example, I have a Mac and I have opened my desktop image in preview. Now if I go up to the tools menu bar item and choose adjust size, I can go down here and make my adjustments. I'm going to go down to the bottom and try 1080 and that will be fine because it's less than 1920 and it's 1080 here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and I've resized my image. Now if I go into Doodly, I can upload it, and I should not get that error message. And there it is. Of course, if you have Windows 10, it's a different process, but it's very similar. You would go into your Windows 10 Photo app and click the three dots option on the top right of the screen, choose Resize define custom dimensions, and then enter your dimensions, making sure that they're less than 1920 by 1080, as I just showed you. Now, if you're a Mac user, here's my bonus trick. You can use Automator to automatically resize your images for you. So if you look over here, I created a Automator resize image application. And I've already downloaded this image here from FreePick. And if we were to look at it in Finder, we're going to see that it's huge. It's 8,000 by 4,500. Okay, and that's way too big for Doodly. Now, let's go over here to my image on the desktop, and I'm just going to drag and drop it on top of my app. And what it just did is it resized it right there, 1920 by 1080, automatically, just by dragging and dropping it onto it. So how do you do that? Okay, so you wanna start your Automator app. This is built into Max, and you're gonna choose a new document. And you wanna choose application. And then you want to go to this little search bar and type in scale, scale images. Now, the one that I have created, I used this one. This is the Pixelmator Pro. It's like an add-in for Automator. So if you don't have Pixelmator Pro, this is not gonna be available to you. So the other option is to use scale images, and this is the preview one. So this is built into your operating system. So you're just gonna go ahead and drag it in, choose add, and now you can do the same thing that I did. I will put it onto desktop and then you do replace existing images. 
replace existing images will replace your original one. So if you still want the high resolution version, then you want to uncheck this, okay? But if you don't care, if it's just a download that you're using only for Doodly, then go ahead and replace it and that way you don't have duplicate files, okay? And then you choose scale to images to size and you're going to type in here 1920. And that should be fine for most cases. If you want to be extra safe, do 1080. You want to give it a name, Doodly Resizer. And then where are you going to store it? By default, it's going to put it in Automator. But I like it on the desktop because then I can just drag and drop it really easily. And now I have two applications here. And what you would do is just drag and drop your images onto the Doodly Resizer. And that's the basics of resizing your images before uploading them into Doodly. Thanks for watching!